Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as posted last week, Microsoft started to roll out the File Explorer tab support to the Beta Channel Insiders. And that support was um, released with preview build 2261.160. Now, in case you missed that video, I will leave a link in the description. And as mentioned previously, the File Explorer tab support is very similar to that found in your conventional web browsers. So as an example, to open and launch a new tab, you just simply click on the plus icon and button. It also has drag and drop support, as we can see in this GIF and screenshot, which I have actually used in previous videos. And also the folders have a right click context menu option that gives you the option to open a folder within the File Explorer in its own new tab instead of opening the folder in a new window of the File Explorer, which basically means you don't have to open a new window of the File Explorer every time you want to browse more than one folder at the same time, which as I mentioned last week, I personally feel is a move in the right direction. Now in theory, opening a new window for a folder compared to opening a folder uh, in its own new tab within the File Explorer should technically use less memory. And this is according to recent reports where some tests were done. And in those tests, when a folder was opened within the File Explorer in its own new tab, the memory usage of the File Explorer only increased by approximately one megabyte, which is a very slight increase in memory. So as an example, for the purposes of this video, and because I like to keep you informed, um, just to give you an idea how much memory one window of the File Explorer uses, I'm going to open my Task Manager, and I currently have one window of my File Explorer open. So in my Task Manager, here's my Windows Explorer, that's my File Explorer, and is currently using 107.5 megabytes of RAM. So I'm going to call that 108 megabytes of RAM, just to round it off. So if I open another instance of my File Explorer, another window on top of that, that bumps that memory up from 108, 107 to say 112, 111. So that's about a 4 to 5 megabyte increase in RAM, give or take. And if I open up another File Explorer window on top of that, that goes from 112 to 116. So I'm going to say at this stage, give or take, um, when you open up a File Explorer window, a new File Explorer window on top of another uh, File Explorer window, your memory increases per window approximately, let's just say, 3 to 5 megabytes compared to the 1 megabyte um, that um, was mentioned in those tests when the folders were opened um, within the File Explorer um, in their own new tab. So if you do find you um, uh, do use your system with a lot of folders open and a lot of File Explorer windows open, um, then this should help to reduce um, some system resources and lower your memory. And I think this would mainly be handy and um, more handy on low budget machines because it's not a significant uh, decrease in memory but on low budget machines i think would be quite handy and as mentioned um, the file explorer tab support uh, is rolling out with the windows 11 version 22h2 feature update that is expected to roll out sometime possibly in october later this year so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one